Crime Church. Winston's story. Chapter 1. Who's this Mini Mart kid? I'm in the garage showing Anushka the new viaduct that me and Dad carved from hard foam when the chirpy voices of Mum and Dad yabbering inside the house. They go low and then they stop. Something solid cracks. Sounds like Mumsy has dropped a mark on the kitchen tiles. Maybe there was some porcelain mixed up in my laundry. Mumsy always does my laundry. I try to ignore it. I show Nush the new terminal that me and Dad glued down with real working LEDs and a tiny speaker that calls out the train schedule. We hand painted the faces of these matchstick kids waving goodbye to their dads in the carriages. It's super detailed. Hopefully Nush is impressed by my train set. Hopefully that makes her panties get a little bit wet. I've dotted on some stubble with Mumsy's eyeliner on me to make me look manlier, so that should help her, help to make her melt. So, Anushka's people are, well, weirdly, they're Persians, but, well, they're good Persians. They're not the bad ones from that 300 movie that got fucked up by the Spartans. She's half Russian, too, and her skin is it's so tan that it's kind of almost green if you look at it in a certain light. I've been trying to get Nush to simplify her bloodline because, well, I've been getting into eugenics a lot lately because I stumbled upon these real eye-opening websites that help me understand I've been fed a lot of lies in my life and there's a real truth out there. You know, Infowars is the main one that's expanding my consciousness. There's Reddit too and there's 4chan. Tons of great stuff on 4chan, but you know what? Stormfront is the real deal though. Stormfront is the only website that has the stats to show that there is actually a genocide against my people. I only stumbled across Stormfront a month ago, but it's like I've taken the red pill and now I see that everyone is stuck in the matrix. Winnie, Winnie, we need to go and swap for my bridge course. Shh, for a second, Nush. I squeeze a pimple on my chin. I wipe the blood on the strap of my singlet while I listen for the weird noise coming from inside the house. I think, I think somebody's in the house beating up my parents or something. I hunch my body. I keep my weight close to the ground and I creep from the garage into the house, careful not to bump the Drakensberg diesels that me and my dad set up, where as a weapon. My crossbow that I shot that eel with, my steel arrow, praise God, yes, woo boy. <sighs> Breath steady, Winston, be staunch, make your people proud. I am creeping on legs made of aluminium and jelly, wobble strut, panic proud, jiggly tough, and I'm there. I'm pulling open the front door and I'm walking up behind the home invaders and I'm going what's up and I'm pointing a motherfucking lethal device at a girly looking kid with big red rubber lips, cold skin and dirty yellow hair who could only be Jade fucking Slattery in my house robbing my parents. His sister is there too, sitting casually with her butt on the breakfast bar stool, <laughs> dangling her legs, eating Mumsy's mixed nuts. Don't you move, I go, aiming the arrow at Jade's tummy. He'll probably pick the weapon, kick the weapon out of my hands if I point it in the wrong place. <laughs> what are you guys doing here? My mum and my dad are against the wall. No one's holding them. But you can tell that they are spooked. Christ, this Jade guy is an urban legend, man. I heard his mum was in a cult and she made him and his sister have sex while they all sang hallelujah and took acid. No wonder they grew up to not care about people's feelings. You must be little Minimart, eh, Minimart? And Jade says to me. Don't call me that. It's the best I can come up with. I'm trying to keep my bum hole shut to stop the poo from wriggling out. The crossbow is getting too heavy to hold up. Leave Mumsy alone. It's fine. Honestly, my dad blurts out. He gulps and it's the loudest thing in the house. Kaneki man need drinky dry? Dad, nervous, has slipped into speaking Afrikaans and he doesn't even realise. He squeezes Mumsy's chubby arm. He cradles one of her glass animal toys protectively. So, um, who's this mini kid anyway? Jade's sister goes. She's shameless Shana Slattery. She's famous, that one. Infamous, really. If you take her out, all crime will end. I don't have the guts to say anything sassy. All I can do is release the bolt that I've got loaded. It thwelps through the air. Buries itself in the wood of the laundry door. Jade doesn't even flinch. I'm stunned, and it's a few seconds before I load another bolt. 
and aim it at Jadie's face this time. Marty said we could come round, Minnie Mart, Shana sneers, thinning her eyes. Your brother and his missus, they ran up some big time Ozies, so we just gotta collect, is all. You need to leave. My parents aren't a bank. JD gives me his yellow wolf eyes, hungry for trouble. Put that little bow and arrow down, eh? Be good for JD. Please just go, both of yous. Shayna looks at me murderously cold as she hops down, ambles over to the door. Casual, like she was just leaving anyway. Tying her hair up with one of mum's hair ties that she's grabbed off the dresser. She'll do anything, this witch. She fights like a boy. She fucks her brother if the stories are true. Your brother's girlfriend owes me eight grand. That prosy Moana. I got a right to collect, little boy. It ain't your beef. It's Mona. Her name, I mean, not Moana. JD licks his fangs. You got a stiffy for her, do you, bro? JD steps forward towards me. I dart away, retreating two, three, four metres, moving into the kitchen to give him space to get out. I'll be seeing ya. He opens the ranch slider, blows a kiss at me and he leaves. Mumsy is already putting the kettle on to boil because she doesn't want to admit that white people have just stood over white people because we're supposed to be civilised. We don't do that shit. We moved away from South Africa to get away from all that dirtiness. Mumsy gets the dustpan, tries to sweep up the mug she dropped. Sweep up the shame, more like. You don't have to do that, I go, lamely. Droplets land on the tiles under Mum's face. Three drops, four, five. It's not as if your brother cleans up his messes, she says.